Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. You guys have a lot going on. Let's start about what's your latest project? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, right now we're on tour, uh, yeah. which has been so much fun, and it's sponsored by Ricola. And so we've been doing a lot of amazing things with them. We're so excited because, I mean, this partnership is practically it's perfect. perfect. Yeah, it's literally I mean, perfect. We love what we do with them, and, you know, we're all vocal groups. So, you know, we need to keep our voices healthy on the road. So we've been doing an amazing uh, video series with them. So if you go to RicolaPTX.com, you'll find more information on that. And then Absolutely. also a Christmas album. Christmas album. We just announced it. Yeah. Um, we're going to release it in October or it could be December 24th. You just don't know. Um, <laughs> but it's definitely coming out Absolutely. between that time period. Well, I want to get my copy early. We like to play Christmas music before Christmas. So get it out as early as you can for us. We oh, promise we will you that work we will. Our We're doing it absolute best. We're doing it right now. Well, I want my audience to know that Pentatonix, they've won with two Grammy Awards and they've done more, sold more than 3.5 million albums. You guys, tell me about the name Pentatonix because I know it's, it's a scale, but you tell me about why choose that name. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, Pentatonix is based off the scale called the Pentatonix scale. And it's a scale used in so many different types of music. And we knew that what we wanted to do as an acapella group was be a group that's very universal, just like the scale. And so that's why we chose it. And we <laughs> took off the C and made it an X because we just thought it was cooler. Um, but that's why we, why we chose the name. And I, I think it really fits us well. Well, it does. And also, too, you know, you guys have had uh, top five on the Billboard digital chart. And that's not easy to do. So what is, what is unique? What is different other than the name Pentatonic? What makes you be able to ascend that chart like that? You know, I, I think with our group, we always have been really trying to push the limits and, and trying to push, uh, you know, our, our boundaries. You know, um, people have always told us no throughout our entire careers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're really just out there to prove people wrong um, and that it's a really amazing art form and really just that we're just a band, yeah. that we just happen to use our voices. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, we, we, we just try to make it uh, something that is, uh, it's competitive with the, with the music out today. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we really try to make that a thing. And uh, that's pretty much our goal. And I, th I think we've done really well, and I'm super proud of us. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Well, I want, well, I want to thank you guys. You guys said I had a nice voice. You guys have nice voices also now. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you're, you. You're welcome. In a time, uh, uh, he said something that's real, I think, important. In a time where most of our music is digitally enhanced and everybody sounds good, you guys are kind of in the minority. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like we're practically on the other side of this musical spectrum right now where everything is so produced on one side and we just want to bring this very raw, organic sound. Where, yes, you know, when we're on tour, sometimes we, you know, we might not, you know, our voices might not be as healthy as, as they possibly can be, but, you know, at at least we know what we're doing is very raw and authentic, and then you'll hear us, and you'll hear exactly what what's there, you know. And so yeah, and and people always like people can just tell that it's honest. People exactly. can tell that we're doing it right there. Honest. It's just it's so uh, it's just blatantly obviously that, that that we're just putting our hearts out there. Mm -hmm. um, singing is just one of the uh, it's just very a very vulnerable thing. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, we, we we love to do it. You guys are partnering with the iconic Swiss. Ricola, what's that like? What's that like being approached by oh an gosh. iconic company that thinks you're that good? Okay, I, I got I to <laughs> get out for a second. Yes. I, I've always been a fan of Ricola since like the first commercial that I ever saw. Yes. The, the jingle's amazing. Um, it's just, we're an all vocal group. Mm -hmm. We have to keep our voices right. We have to keep them healthy. And Ricola is for your voice. It's for your throat. It's everything that we need and we're partnered with them. We exactly. get a bunch of free Ricola. It I couldn't know. get any better than that. Um, it's perfect, and they're a really great people, really great company, 
it's uh, it's perfect. It's yeah. awesome. Which makes All a lot right. of sense. You guys on your 2016 world tour, what are some of the places that you've stopped and you're going to stop? Oh, my gosh. Well, we're actually really excited for Dallas because we're going to be there uh, November 20th at uh, the American Airlines Center. So yeah. we're really, really excited about that. But, I mean, we're going to so many different places. We're actually going to Asia soon, which is really exciting. We're going, yeah. I mean, New York, so many different places in, like, Chicago. And so it, it's a really, really exciting tour. We love, we just love that we can do a bigger production and, and really give our all to the fans. Yeah. What is, you got, what is your biggest dream for Pentatonix? And I'll let you go after that. What is your biggest, biggest dream? dream? Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I honestly, at this point, I mean, we've had a lot of big dreams. And mm -hmm. we've actually accomplished a lot of our goals. But right now... We're really trying to get a song on the radio. Yeah. Um, but honestly, at the end of the day, we just want to build our fan base, build awareness of what we do, yeah. um, and just become a household name. Yeah. We just want people to remember us and for, for good things. Exactly. You know? Well, we're going to remember you for good singing. I can't wait till you come to Dallas. I will be at the arena because when you go to the American Airlines Center, you're pretty much you like, you've made it. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Like, well, thank you. Thank you. I hope that we get to meet you and give you a hug yeah. and hear your voice again. Absolutely. I will be coming there. I'll be on the media pass. I'll be looking for you. I want to thank you for stopping, though, and taking the time to let my audience know about the great singing that you do. It's oh, been my you. pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder Beatty Show. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you.